excitement. That's what you need when your head's been cut off. That's why I gave your sister Mary when they done her. There, there, I said, you'll soon grow a new one. <laughs> Shut up, Nazi. Of course you may see your husband, my dear. And if that horrid old Edmund tries to stop you, get him this. It's a warrant for his own execution. Oh, thank you, Mum. May flights of angels sing you to your rest. Yes, I'm sure they will. <laughs> Dead, are they? Yep. All three. Drake, Effingham, <coughs> Farrow. Splendid. Any interesting last words? Well, Farrow was rather moving, my lord. A great strong man. He stood there, gaunt and noble, in the early morning mist, and in a loud, clear voice he cried out, My wife might have bloody well turned up. <laughs> She's probably shacked up with some new pair of tights already. <laughs> right. Well, unless Lord Percy has anything to add, you lot can amuse yourselves in whatever foul, depraved way you feel fit till Friday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> well, stuff. Uh, I've got a few notes on today's show. On the whole, I was impressed. They've gone, Percy. Uh, 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 team. Team! My lord, there is a lady outside to see you. Oh, is she pretty? I don't know. What do you think? Well, I don't know, do I? I haven't seen her yet. <laughs> Make yourself scarce, will you? Oh, what? Good evening, Lord Blackadder. Well, it certainly is now. Perhaps you'd like to slip into something more comfortable. No, my lord. For there is a great pain in my heart. It's probably indigestion. I'll soon take your mind off. <laughs> it is my husband. Your husband's got indigestion. Well, <laughs> he won't be bothering us then. No. He dies tomorrow. Oh, come, you can't die of indigestion. You're over dramatized. <laughs> he is to be executed at your order. I am Lady Pharaoh. Ah. And what exactly did you want of me? I wish to see my husband tonight. <laughs> Not really possible. <laughs> well, Lord, that Farrow bloke you executed today, you sure he's dead? Well, I chopped his head off. That usually does the trick. <laughs> yes, don't get clever with me, Borda. I just thought he might have locked up a leg or something by mistake. No, the thing I chopped off had a nose. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. I've just been consulting my legal people, and I'm afraid there really is no chance of a meeting. But the Queen told me it would be allowed. Really? Yes. And that if you said no, I should give you this. <laughs> fine, fine, absolutely. Why not? 